Hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to show you the few steps that you need to take in order to bind your API, um, you know, between Royal Q and your Binance account. So just bear with me so we don't lose any more time. So I'll share my screen. So basically, you start here. My screen is on my computer. I mean, my uh, work is on my computer, but uh, the screen is exactly the same that you have on your phone. Uh, it's only on my computer because I use uh, an app called Knox Player to emulate um, an Android platform so that I can install Android apps on my Windows computer. So when you start, you can do you can do API binding starting from the home screen as you can see here through this icon, or you could also initiate it from the uh, the member center through API binding. So both will take you to the same place. As you can see, I have these two here. They show gray, but they actually already bound. So yes, you could have both Binance and Hobi bound. And yes, you could use just one robot to trade on both platforms. Um, it's a little bit trickier to, uh, to do the API binding on Hobi. And you can see it in the video that is uh, either above this one or below. Um, but Binance is pretty straightforward. So if I go to home, you'll see that. If I click on API binding here, it's gonna take me exactly to the same, to the same place. For this video, we're doing Binance API binding. As you can see, my account is already bound, but I'm gonna unbind it and then do it again, following all the steps so you can see it in the video. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna delete again, just so that the information that you'll be seeing in the video will become obsolete in case somebody is trying to hack into my account. So basically, if I do this, I click on Finance binding, and as you can see, these are my information. So I could just say on time and then confirm, and then my account is unbound. My account is no longer bound with Binance. So I'll stop sharing the screen and I'll move to the next one. And I'll share my next screen, which is my Binance account. So when you are on Binance on your computer, the way to get to your API management is different from the way you get to your API management on your phone. On the computer, you need to bring the mouse here on the avatar and then scroll all the way down to, um, okay, I see that I didn't take my language change earlier. All right, now it's in English. So all you need to do is to Go to the avatar with your mouse, and then you're gonna get a drop down menu. <laughs> you're gonna get a drop down menu here that tells you API management. Click on API management. You see that the old API management I had in there um, is still there, so I'm going to delete it just so we go through the process together. And at the same time, it's also showing you how to delete if you believe your API key has been compromised, it's important to do it. So as you can see here, I already have a wall queue API key. So I'll just say delete. Each time you create a new one, the keys and the key information are different. So I'll confirm and boom, it's gone. All right, now let's start where you should start for the API binding, so I'll stop sharing and I will go back to my, to my wall queue, right? So from here, I'll click on Binance Unbound, click. And the information I'm looking for is this one, the IP address. So I'll click on copy, so copy successfully. So what is the IP address? Basically with the IP address, that is how you identify another entity trying to connect to another one. That's how you identify another entity on the internet. So we'll copy this IP address and we'll take it to Binance and tell Binance, hey Binance, if you see this list of IP addresses, allow them to work 
because I am giving you the permission. So once we copy this, now we stop share. We go to finance, stop sharing, and go to finance. So now, when you get to Binance, of course, you remember how I got here. Let's say I start from scratch and I didn't know how to get here in the computer. Then I would be, let's give it a few seconds, still turning up there. So then I'll just take my mouse here and then I'll scroll all the way down to API management. Now, when I click on API management, the first step I'm going to have to do is uh, to create a name, to create an actual API, create a name for my API. In this case, I'm going to call it Royal Q. I'll say create API. Now it's going to ask me to enter some verification information, like through my email or exactly email verification and then Google Authenticator verification. I have to do both, and then I will be able to, uh, to enter the information. So I'll go to my email and get the information. But prior to getting that, I need to click here in Binance. I need to click on Get Code. Okay. And I'll have 60 seconds to do it. So Get Code. Now I need to go here. And uh, my email. So create new API. That's the email I got. I see here the code seven twelve eight seven seven. So here seven twelve eight seven seven. Then I'll go to my Google. To enter the code that is valid at the time. So, uh, so I'm going to Now, as you can see, a new API key has been created. A new API has been created. Here you have the API key, and here you have the secret key. You never, never, ever display your API, your, your secret key. So I'm displaying this one just for the purpose of the training, but it will be deleted immediately after. So the first thing you need to do, remember we copied an IP list from WorldQ. So the first thing you need to do is to tell this Binance the different selection. Now that we've selected that, you need to select Enable Spot and Margin Trading. Okay, we're already enabling the reading, which is good. And the next thing you need to do is restrict access to trusted IPs only. So you select this one, then you click in here, and you paste the list of IP addresses. And here you come and confirm. Now when you see them appear above here as yellow, you're good. So the next thing you want to do is select the secret key, right? Only the key. Select the secret key, you copy. Then you go to your royal queue. Do not change the page. Um, now, so you click in there, you paste. And then you go back to finance. Do not leave the finance page. When I say do not leave it, I mean do not navigate to a different page within Binance because when you come back, you're no longer going to be able to see the secret key. So if you click on copy here to copy the API key, you just click on copy. But you could also select and copy, same result. So I copy. So now I'll go back to WorldQ and paste in the API key field. Now that I've done this, I need to go back to Binance and save the information that is there so that when I save here, it will work. So go to Binance.
And uh, now in Binance, I have my IP addresses, I have, C I have API key secret key, I have enabled whatever needs to be enabled. Now I can just click here and say save. It will ask me for code. Right, so I'll enter the code. Now you see that it went now from save to edit again. So now that this is save, the information is stored in Binance. So I can go back to my raw queue. And now in raw queue, I'll check here to say I've read the risk. Notice carefully, you know, the risk of providing this information to this software. And now I'll say send to get my, um, call it, I'll say send to get my um, uh, raw queue code. It will be sent by email and I'll have 60 seconds to enter it. Verification code is sent successfully. So now all I need to do is go to my email to get it. So five eight eight two nine seven two two nine seven then you click on bind. Right, so I click on bind, so it should be done. So bind. Okay, we so saw bound successfully, and you see it change color here. So end. This is how you bind your Binance account with your wallet. This ends this video. So I hope you enjoy it. All right. Thank you very much. All right.